been a couple days. Uh, we had lots of rain, and so I had to <clears throat> rush in and out of the garage working on this car. So I have done a few things off camera. Um, let's pop the hood. So the fuel tank was not self-feeding property. It wasn't gravity feeding property properly. So I looked at the factory fuel pump on the engine and it, I put a vacuum gauge on it and it was actually trying to draw fuel. So I took it off the engine and I cleaned it up. I didn't put it in the ultrasonic but I scrubbed it with Varsol in a pail. You know, the old fashioned way. Put it back in, hooked the tank up to that and that works. Um, and I've run the engine off and on a little bit here and there trying to bring it up to temperature and then let it cool off either throughout the day or overnight. I put new fan belts on it because one was totally toast and shredded, the other one was hanging in there but I put two new ones on. Um, the thing that blows me away is I have not had to touch the carburetor. It works perfectly um, and it's a really weird one. I've, my dad looked at it he said that's a really weird carburetor he doesn't recognize it. He had a flathead, a 1950 Merc. Um, it was different than this one, but he said his was also a weird carburetor, not your typical setup. Anyways, um, that's what I've been doing so far. I did a compression test and it's better. So I had two cylinders that were zero PSI. They're coming up. Those two are around 35 PSI. So the stuck valves are loosening up. It is blowing a lot of blue smoke out the exhaust, but this engine sat for 55 years. So I'm not expecting an overnight miracle here. It's going to take some work. It's going to take, you know, some treatment down the spark plug holes. You know, some people say use ATF. Some people say use sea foam. There's all kinds of stuff out there you can do. So I'm going to start this thing. It's been sitting since last night. Um, I had it running uh, probably about 10 p.m. So about 12 hours. So I'm going to fire this up. I'll let you hear what it sounds like. Ford 
in Canada in the 50s had Ford, Mercury, Monarch, and Meteor. There were four different divisions, plus there was Lincoln. Um, and my dad had a 57 Monarch Richelieu. He loved that car. And it's a look up a 57 Monarch lit Richelieu, push button automatic. What a gorgeous looking car. The, I swear, some of the best looking cars were in the 50s. They were just beautiful, beautiful. The styling, the effort they put into them is unlike anything you see today. I'm just gonna try kicking it down. works really good and I also discovered last night the e-brake works any of you into cars especially cars that sit you know that the e-brake even on a 10 year old car if you don't use it it's seized the cable is rusted permanently now I don't know how well well I want to try driving it very very tempted Still got a little bit of a shake to the motor. But that should get better. I'm so tempted to drive it. All the tires are holding air. I had one in the back that was losing air by the end of the day. It was just the valve stem. I changed the little Schrader valve. Listen to that, it's music. I'm sure there's a big hole in the exhaust, but I'd like to get it on the service pit today. But actually, I'm gonna show you something inside. Check this out. So I got the broken set of points here doesn't need to be there. I found the emblem that was missing from the dash right there. So I'm going to glue that back in at some point. Maybe later today. We'll see. But uh, I've got really good oil pressure. The temperature gauge works. And it's charging. If I turn the headlights on, there, it shows a discharge. If I accelerate, look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. The thing that doesn't work is the clock. I got lots of time to fix that. I love the sound of that horn. Here, I'll shut it off. It starts so nice. So there you have it everyone. That's what's been going on for the last few days. Even though our weather was bad, it's really nice today. It wasn't supposed to be. But uh, I got no complaints. 
I am so tempted to drive it. I think I'll drive it in my yard. I only have the e-brake or parking brake to work with. The, my I ordered a master cylinder. It hasn't come in yet. It's going to come in later today. I don't know if I'll have time today to put it in. I hope the e-brake is strong enough. I'll just try moving it around a bit here and see if, if it can stop the car when I'm moving. I've done that before on old cars and it's doable. It's a bit, it's a bit risky, especially driving on the road. Um, so let's... I'll get a camera set up here for the drive around the yard. Okay, let's give this a go. Neutral. Okay, let's try this. Let's try the e-brake. Oh yeah. Let's try it again. Okay, we can stop. <laughs> here. The steering is actually easier than I thought. Huh. Let's just stop for a sec. No problem. Keep stepping on the brake pedal, but it doesn't work. Too fast. <laughs> Fifty five years. Let's try backing up with the e brake on really hard. That e brake works awesome. Fifty-five years this has sat, and now it's on the road again. I can't believe it. It starts so easily. Amazing. Try it. <laughs> Wipers work. And those don't have an electric motor. They're vacuum operated from the engine. That, that's very cool. Good. Oh, that. Wow, that works. It really pulled the, the engine down. I think I'm out of gas. <laughs> okay. Let's see how it starts. It's basically out of gas. I might have to prime the carburetor. 
Yeah, I'm going to do that. Trusty gas in a bottle. I'm going to give it some more. It helps to open the valve in the gas tank. I had it shut off. Okay, now we're ready to go. Well, I can start moving without even touching the gas. It's running real nice. Here we go. I got no brakes. Coming, I'm gonna have to slam on this handbrake. No, nope, all good. I don't know what fell out the door, but something fell out the door. Oh my gosh. There to cling. An engine valve, not from this engine. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, let's head back home. My doors are all opening. <laughs> 55 years, folks, she's back on the road. I don't know where that valve came from. The door did open. I don't remember seeing it inside the car. I want to get under this thing and see it. We're going to get it on the pit. Fifty-five years. 
pretty cool. I listen to it start. I think this is off a tractor. That's a really heavy valve, very heavy. The stem is massive. Huh. Well, there you have it, folks. After 55 years, they, they are still out there. Um, don't be discouraged if you can't find a car like this. Um, and you know what? It doesn't have to be a two-door, perfectly rust-free. Um, I'm super thrilled with this car. Uh, I'm still shocked. And, you know, the overall condition is really, really good. So there you have it. Thanks for tuning in to Psychic Garage. And uh, we'll see you next time. I'll, I'll update the progress on this car as it happens. Um, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Yeah.